Hi gamers, after I made a video about the best upcoming metroidvania, the best new and most anticipated, I thought why not make a best metroidvania of all time list like my like videos. Here are the 25 best metroidvania games of all time 2023 edition. Without further ado, let's get started. Nine Years of Shadow is one of the best Metroidvania games. It has absolutely stunning art, great gameplay, and progression. A beautiful, unusual Metroidvania that will give you dozens of hours of feelings you won't forget. The game has a well thought out way to fight, good controls, and a story that keeps you interested. With good pixel art in a bright and colorful world, this Metroidvania game is a fun to play and has a decent story. Darklight is a stylish Metroidvania sci-fi platformer with intense gameplay and lots of action. The unique thing about it is that you can't see enemies unless your drone shines a light on them. Combat is a lot of fun and you can try out different builds which make it more and more fun to play. I highly recommend if you don't care about the story and just enjoy solid combat in this Metroidvania game. Eldran is another solid entry in the Metroidvania genre offering simple yet enjoyable platforming and combat. The combat is fun with a variety of weapons and sub-weapons to mix and match. The sense of exploration is great and intuitive as is the platforming, there are tons of secrets to uncover and the music is also quite amazing. If you enjoy Metroidvania games, it will be a great addition to your collection. Axiom First 2 improves on the first game's platforming mechanics in a variety of fun and interesting ways. The sequel places a greater emphasis on exploration puzzles and while enemies are present throughout the map, they often feel like an afterthought and are easily avoided. This game doesn't have any ranged weapons, instead it has melee weapons and something you can throw. It's a well-made and entertaining game with a satisfying sense of discovery and progression. Infernax is a phenomenal classic 2D Metroidvania adventure with truly impressive retro pixel art with the ability to transport you back in time. A story of good versus evil, heavily inspired by Castlevania 2 and Contra. It's fully interactive, even NPCs can react differently to your choices and action. Aside from a slow-burning difficulty curve, Infernax offers crunchy combat with plenty of guts to drive it home. Best of all, the game has a co-op mode that allows two players to play together, locally or online. Guacamelee 2 is a 2D Metroidvania game about the adventures of the Wrestle Juan. The gameplay is pretty much the same as the first one with some extras like skills you can buy. The art style is very attractive, the gameplay is smooth and responsive, and the attack music is fantastic. With funny characters, colorful, stylish graphics, awesome combo moves, also has co-op gameplay that is great to play with your friends. The game also has a great sense of humor, so I won't spoil anything. After Image is a good Metroidvania with fun and responsive combat, nice hand drawn to the graphics and RPG progression. Combat feels pretty good, you can equip two weapons at once, and most hits from your weapons will stop most enemies from attacking. Some consumables can be used to improve your weapons, but you don't want to use them all the time because you will always find the better ones. I highly recommend this game to anyone looking for a Metroidvania fix with a mix of Hollow Knight, Celeste, and Souls all in one game. Record of Lodos War did lead in Wonder Labyrinth 
is another fantastic retro Castlevania style 2D action game. This game allows you to play with different types of melee weapons such as swords, clubs, spears, and more. Bosses are good challenges and the difficulty curves as you progress through the game is perfect. The game is also has very fun mechanics, stylish graphics, incredible bosses, tight yet challenging gameplay, and unique weapons to keep you playing until the end. Eterna Noctis is a complex Metroidvania platformer with beautiful hand-drawn graphics. Combining systematic combat and accurate platforming, the game is varied and challenging. The content of the game is massive. You can get new weapons, new skills, new charms, even new music. You have to pay attention to every detail of the dialogue to get an idea of where to go next. The beautiful artworks makes each area unique and helps to make this a truly memorable experience and more content will make you want to play it again and again. Steam World Dig 2 is a Metroidvania platformer that improves on its predecessor with breakable blocks, falling rocks and all. A fast-paced combination of retro digging gameplay and quirky graphics, this game features an intense storyline. The main loop of the game consists of going down into the mines to explore and dig for ores and going back up to the town to cash in your findings and get some upgrades. You have to avoid traps, fight enemies, and sometimes do some platforming and puzzle solving for secrets and collectibles. Monster Sanctuary is an adventure metroidvania game with turn-based combat. You have to collect and train different monsters similar to Pokemon. Exploring and traversing the levels of the game is interesting and provides a certain amount of variety. Each monster has its own skill tree and with a fairly common item, you can reset it anytime to find the most optimal will. The story probably is not great but there's a lot to do in the game and lots of secrets to find that aren't part of the story. Grime is an amazing and very stylish action game with souls and metroidvania elements. Its challenging combat and platforming mechanics add unique quirks that make for a refreshing experience. The bosses are few in number but very well designed, also fair and challenging. There are also a number of good bosses as well as unique elite enemies that provide plenty of variety. The world design is also amazing, very unique and alien from the levels to the enemies. Everything is just so well done. Moonscars is a great action platformer with souls-like elements, with satisfying combat, big levels and beautiful graphics. The game has a dark and gothic art style inspired by oil paintings and pixel art. The game also has a mechanic called Blood Moon which increases the difficulty of the game each time the player dies. The fights are tight, exploring feels great, the story is also interesting. The game is pretty hard and you might die a lot. The game offers a rewarding and satisfying experience who loves a challenge. Dutch Gambit Alter Life is a challenging 2D action platformer with deep RPG elements. You play as an agent of death who has to face the undying guardians of the realm and discover the secrets of Siradon. The combat in the game is a lot less clunky than it used to be. There is no difficulty setting in this game so you will have to learn and adapt accordingly to progress. Please don't buy it if you are not up for a challenge. Toho Luna Knights is a damn good metroidvania genre that focuses on using a time manipulation mechanic and using knives to fight. The game is very solid, the gameplay itself is well refined and fun, and the time manipulation mechanic is just excellent. Both fights may take a few tries, but if you go and grind some generic mobs for a few dozen minutes, that should make things easier. 
I also really like the graphics and the pixel art is beautiful. Maybe the puzzles are not challenging, but it is still quite fun. As Libra Revision is a stunning 2D side scrolling action RPG with engaging hack and slash combat, with a variety of armor and weapon customization. The gameplay is a 2D side scrolling brawler with JRPG style progression. The whole thing has nostalgic feel and made me think of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The story is very well written and without giving too much away, is based around the theory of time traveling and the consequences that come along with it. The music is really great, there are more 1000 songs and many of them are memorable. And the Lilies Quietus of the Night is a dark fantasy 2D action RPG about unraveling the mysteries of destroyed kingdom. The gameplay is fluid and like any good metroidvania, gets better as you progress. With upgrades to almost every skill, all attacks and their animations feels great. The presentation is good, with its area looking very different, and the characters, enemies, and ghosts looking different from each other. I cannot say much, but this is one of the best Metroidvania in recent years with flawless art, sound, and gameplay design. Dead Cells is the perfect blend of Metroidvania and rock-like elements, with Georgia's fast-paced action platformer with addictive combat and progression. The controls are flawless, the combat is satisfying, and the permanent upgrades are addictive. The wide variety of items and upgrades allows for many different playstyles, even within the same run. This game is a masterpiece of perfected combat, great boss fights, satisfying progression, and abilities that really challenge enemy design, making the game extremely addictive. <laughs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night is one of the best games ever made, and is a great example of how 2D games are definitely not that. You can now use a lot of different weapons and items, which are all kept in a subscreen that looks like an RPG inventory. The game also has many secrets, hidden areas, and different endings, which makes it easy to play again and again. The music fits perfectly with the gothic and creepy atmosphere of the castle, making the whole game more fun. Blasphemous is mostly about simple hack and slash combat. Some abilities can be upgraded by buying them or finding them as you explore. The gameplay itself is also simple. You unlock new abilities and prayers as you progress through the game. Core progression is never stopped by skills, and the game mechanics are pretty easy to understand. The atmosphere is pure genius in this old school Metroidvania. I totally hype for Blasphemous 2. Ori and the Will of the Whips is one of the best 2D platformers ever made, with beautiful graphics, sounds, story, and combat. The incredible writing and directions, supported by the beautiful art and defines original soundtrack, makes the whole experience feel like a fairy tale come to life. The environment are stunning with vibrant landscapes and incredible art design that surpasses the first game. We can expect thrilling cinematics, both battles, new combat abilities, and emotional storyline, and a great soundtrack. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is just like the Castlevania games you play when you were a kid. The gameplay is a side scrolling action RPG focused on exploration that combines all the best parts of the Metroidvania genre. Alchemy is a fun shot activity that lets you make and improve Miriam and her gear. Surprisingly, the voice acting was very good, I like the music a lot as well. I think everyone who likes Castlevania or Metroidvania games in general needs to play this game. Ah! 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 
Metroid Dread is fantastic because it stays true to the Metroid formula while also adding new elements. The gameplay of Metroid Dread is similar to the gameplay of Metroid 2 Remake. The game's return to an open-ended 2D structure is a nod to the series' origins and combined with the atmospheric environment makes for an engaging and immersive experience. Metroid Dread is a must-play title that brings the essence of the Metroid back to life with exciting exploration, satisfying combat, and compelling story. Salt and Sanctuary is a fantastic 2D platformer with Metroidvania style. The 2D combat is quick and brutal with the solid RPG mechanics. The combination mechanics in combat are fantastic. By pressing a variety of buttons, players can trigger a wide variety of entertaining attack animations. Featuring an expensive skill tree, a leveling system, reminiscence of Dark Souls, and a wide array of weapons and armor. Very similar to Dark Souls in terms of inspirations, but it's 2D and features local co-op mode. This game is absolutely fantastic game. Hollow Knight is the best Metroidvania action adventure game that combines exploration, combat, and platforming. Combat is tight, dynamic, and highly customizable with a variety of spells and charms. Hollow Knight gives you the pleasures of fighting the way you want, and it is so addictive that you will find yourself fighting mobs in the same zones over and over again. With a beautiful sad soundtrack, with a unique track for almost every area in the game, this game is a must-play for fans of the Metroidvania genre. And that's it for today. I know there are some other great Metroidvania games out there that I haven't mentioned yet, so why don't you drop a comment and tell me about your favorite Metroidvania games that you think deserve a spot on the list. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss another great list. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.